Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a book haul and I'm going to show you guys some unboxing of some recent book mail that I got. So I'm kind of on a book ban right now and I'm trying not to buy any more books. Said every booktuber ever. Uh, because I just like, I have way too many books right now. My TBR is huge and I just, I don't want to add any more to my shelves because I don't have any more room. But this is a kind of a haul that I did because these are all books that I got as presents for my birthday or that I got for the newts because yeah. So as you know, if you've seen my newts TBR video, I purchased Landline by Rainbow Rowell for one of my prompts because I found this at the bookstore for $6 and I was like, okay, I can't say no to that and I really liked Rainbow Rowell's writing in Eleanor and Park. So this is one of the ones that I recently hauled. Another one that I got as a birthday present is the Red Rising graphic novel. Marcus purchased this for me for my birthday and I am super excited to read this. And it is also part of my Newt's prompts that I'm using it for, because one of them is to read graphic novels. So this is another one. So I feel like I've said this a lot, but Marcus is really awesome. And he had purchased me a another copy of Golden Sun because I lent this out and it got lost somewhere and I just didn't get it back. So he purchased this for me so I could have my set complete again. But he also noticed that I had one in paperback and the other two in hardback. So he purchased a copy of Red Rising for me in hardback so that now I have the set complete in hardback and I, I'm keeping the paperback just for like nostalgia's sake because it was my first copy of Red Rising and that's my favorite book. But I have the whole set in hardback. Marcus also got this for me as a present, and it's Gone by Michael Grant. This is a series that I've seen at the bookstore many times and I thought looked really interesting and I had mentioned it to him, but I never picked it up myself and he ended up getting me a version of the first book to the series, so now I'm committed. I also recently hauled Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Uh, Marcus got this for me for my birthday as well, and it has sprayed edges, so I'm excited about this. Uh, I bought this for my friend Liz for her birthday and she really liked it and she was going to let me borrow it, but now I have my own copy, so don't need to borrow it anymore. Uh, my friend Jordan sent me a birthday present that I actually just got today, and it is a massive book. It's called Super Power Eds Year One. This book is like 730 pages. It's gigantic, and my friend Jordan was telling me about this book that he, um, he listened to on audio, and he really liked the series and he's been telling me about it forever. So he bought the paperback version for me for my birthday and now I'm going to read it. I also know that this whole series, I think there's four books and it totals over 4,000 pages. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into and I don't know when I'm actually going to get to reading this book because it's a beast, but I will get there eventually, Jordan, I will. I also am not sure how to say the title of this. I said Superpower Eds, but I think it's Superpowers, as pointed out by Marcus, which is probably the correct way to say it, and I'm just being a doofus. <laughs> so yeah. And then my last book that was hauled, which was my favorite birthday present from Marcus, was Dark Age by Pierce Brown. This is his brand new book that just came out, and look at this. Oh my god. This is like the most beautiful sprayed edges book I've ever seen. It's also a massive book, so I'm excited to dive into this. And guys, it is a signed copy by Pierce Brown. He's my favorite author, so like, this is amazing. He special ordered it from Illumicrate, and it came in this like cool Illumicrate bag. So it's like a little like book carrier bag, so this is sweet. I can take books places and not worry about them getting damaged. So thank you Illumicrate <laughs> as well. But yeah, this is this is my favorite, like, um, most amazing book and most amazing present, and I'm super excited about this. All right, time to do the unboxing. So I have this package, which I kind of ripped open already because I needed to see what it was. But this one is from Penguin Random House, and I believe this is a book I won from a Goodreads giveaway, so I'm just going to make sure. Oh. And it is. This is um, Supper Club by Laura Williams. I entered this book giveaway and 
managed to be one of the winners of it, so I'm pretty excited. It has deckled edges. It also has a giant black fingerprint on top, so I'm not a big fan of that, and I just saw that now, but you know what? I'm gonna look past it. Could be an interesting book. I don't really know much about what it's about. I just thought that the cover looked really cool, and honestly, a lot of the Goodreads giveaways I enter because the cover looks cool, so. So yeah, but I ended up winning this one and I'm excited to eventually get to it. And then here's my last package. I have not opened this yet, so just bear with me while I open this. And this book is called Malibu Motel. This is a paperback version of a book that Chonston Bird sent to me. Um, this author sent me an ebook version of this a long time ago to read and review. And I guess his book finally got printed, so now he sent me a paperback version to add to my shelves. So thank you, Chonston, for this. I hope I'm saying your name right, Chonston, Chanston. Anyway, if you watch this, tell me how to say your name right. But thank you so much. I'm really excited about having this book and putting it on my shelf. I'm mentioned in the book as one, my like one line for <laughs> that was taken from a review is absolutely fantastic, definitely worth the read by Breakeven Books. So that is pretty sweet. I'm actually mentioned in a book. That's exciting. And those are all the books that I recently hauled slash got as presents slash got in the mail. <laughs> so hey guys, so also post recording. I actually ended up getting some more book mail the day of that I made this video. So I'll just show you this quickly. So I got this book, Ashes Ashes by Joe Trigiari. It's one of her, I think it's her second book she wrote. So that's pretty cool. And she sent me this little postcard that says something on the back. It says, hey Eric, thought you might like to complete your Joe Trigiari collection. So, <laughs> so now I have another edition for my Joe Trigiari shelf. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to read this probably in September because I'm in, in the middle of the newts right now, but yeah, pretty pumped. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on reading.